The deadline to upgrade from Universal Analytics to GA4 is approaching fast. Universal Analytics will stop collecting data at the end of June. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to GA4, Google Analytics 4, to take advantage of the latest version. We'll look at the different ways you can upgrade Google Analytics, and I'll share my recommended approach so you're ready. Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. There are a number of different ways you can upgrade from Universal Analytics to GA4. If you're using the Google tag for Universal Analytics, you can link this to GA4. If you're using Google Tag Manager, you can add a new GA4 tag. You can wait for Google to upgrade Universal Analytics for you, or depending on your website, you can switch your Universal Analytics tracking ID to a GA4 measurement ID. Let's start by heading to Google Analytics. Before we cover the steps to upgrade, the first thing to do is check if you're using a Universal Analytics property or a GA4 property. We're currently looking at the admin area of a Universal Analytics property. We can see there are three columns. There's an account column on the left, then a property column in the middle, and a view column on the right. Since there are three columns, this tells us we're looking at a Universal Analytics property. This means we will need to upgrade this property. Okay, now let's open a GA4 property to see the difference. Here we can see there are only two columns in the admin area. There is an account column and a property column. This tells us we're looking at a GA4 property. So take a moment to check your own Google Analytics account. If your admin area looks like this, then you're already using GA4 and you don't need to upgrade. And if you find you're using Universal Analytics, you will need to upgrade. This is important. When it comes to upgrading to GA4, you'll actually be creating a new property that will work in parallel to your existing Universal Analytics property. Your reports will be starting from scratch. Unfortunately, Google isn't providing us with an option to import historical data from Universal Analytics into the new version. So the sooner you upgrade, the better. Okay, let's head back to our Universal Analytics property. We can see the option to upgrade to GA4 at the top of the property column. It's called GA4 Setup Assistant. So let's select this option. We can now see there are two options. We can create a new GA4 property, or we can connect to an existing one. Since we have a Universal Analytics property that we want to upgrade, let's select the first option to create a new GA4 property. We can now see some important details. First, it says that our Universal Analytics property will remain unchanged. This also means that when we create our new GA4 property, it won't include any historical data from Universal Analytics. Next, it says that we'll copy some basic settings from Universal Analytics. And we can see it will also turn on enhanced measurement. This is a feature that will automatically track a number of actions taking place on our website. This includes people scrolling, clicking outbound links, downloading files, and watching embedded YouTube videos. Finally, we can see the last point says we can collect data using the existing tag on our website. We're seeing this because we're using the Google tag, gtag.js, to add Universal Analytics to our website. If you're not using the Google tag, then the last point will tell you that it will set up a new tag to add to your website. Okay, let's go ahead and create our new property. Our new GA4 property has now been created. Since we already have the Google tag installed on our website, this will automatically send data to our new GA4 property. This sounds good because it means you don't need to change anything on your website. However, I don't recommend using this option as I've seen it cause a number of issues. Instead, I highly recommend using Google Tag Manager to add GA4 in parallel to Universal Analytics. So let's head back to Google Analytics so I can show you how to do this. Instead of using the Setup Assistant to create a new GA4 property, I prefer to create one myself. 
To do this, we just need to click Create Property at the top of the property column. Now we can name our GA4 property. Select our reporting time zone. And select our currency. Then we click Next. We can enter details about our business. Then when you're ready, click Create. Now we need to create a data stream. We'll use this to collect data into our reports. Since we're going to be tracking a website, let's select Web. Now we enter the URL of our website. And name our data stream. Now let's create the stream. We can now see details for the data stream. This includes the measurement ID at the top. This is like the tracking ID from Universal Analytics. We're going to use this to configure a new GA4 tag in Google Tag Manager. So let's copy this. Now let's head to Google Tag Manager. We can see I already have my Universal Analytics tag added to my website. So let's create a new tag. Let's name the tag Google Analytics GA4 Page View. And let's select Tag Configuration. And then choose GA4 Configuration as the tag type. Now we can paste our measurement ID into the tag. And let's add a trigger. Let's select the All Pages trigger so that our GA4 tag is added to all of the pages on our website. Now we can save the tag. This means we now have our GA4 tag and our Universal Analytics tag on our website. Let's preview our container to check this. We can preview our website. And we can see the debug console has loaded. So let's select the Tag Assistant tab. We can see that both of our Google Analytics tags have fired. Our Universal Analytics tag and our new GA4 tag. Let's select the GA4 tag. And we can see that the event has been sent to our GA4 property using the measurement ID we used in Google Tag Manager. So everything is working correctly. Let's head back to Google Tag Manager. And let's publish the changes to our website. This means the GA4 tag is now on our live website. Okay, but what if we've already used the Setup Assistant and our GA4 property is collecting data from a Universal Analytics tracking code installed on our website? What should we do? Well, if your data is accurate and you're not encountering any issues, then you can leave things as they are. Or if you prefer to update your tracking code or use Google Tag Manager, you can disconnect Universal Analytics from GA4. Let's take a look at how to do this. Let's head back to Google Analytics. And now let's open the Universal Analytics property we were using at the start of this video. This is the one where we use the Setup Assistant. We need to start by selecting Setup Assistant. Then we need to click Disconnect so that Universal Analytics isn't linked to our GA4 property. We click Continue. Now let's select Tracking Info and then Tracking Code. Now we need to look for Connected Site Tags and select this. This shows us the GA4 tag that was created when we used the Setup Assistant. We click the three vertical dots on the right and choose Remove Tag. 
This means our GA4 property isn't collecting data from our existing Universal Analytics tag. So we need to add the GA4 tag to our website. To do this, we navigate back. Then we open our GA4 property. We select Data Streams and open the data stream. If you're migrating to Google Tag Manager, then you can copy the measurement ID at the top and follow the steps we covered previously to add a new GA4 tag to our website. Otherwise, you can also scroll to the bottom and select View Tag Instructions to view additional details for adding the GA4 tag to your website. Okay, we've now covered two ways you can upgrade to GA4. You can use the Setup Assistant in Google Analytics, or you can create your own GA4 property and add the GA4 tag to your website. And as I've mentioned, doing this manually is my preferred method. If you don't do anything, then Google is starting to automatically create a GA property for you. Let's take a look at this. We're still in my Universal Analytics property, so let's select GA4 Setup Assistant again. At the bottom, we can see the Automatic Setup option. The blue switch on the right tells us this is enabled, which means Google can automatically create a GA4 property for us. Personally, I want to be in control of setting up GA4, so I would suggest following the steps we've already covered. You can then turn this option off. However, if you don't have time to set up GA4 yourself, then leaving this option enabled is better than nothing. The final option I want to mention is switching from Universal Analytics to GA4. This is like the steps we covered earlier in the video, but instead of running GA4 in parallel to Universal Analytics, you'd stop using Universal Analytics immediately. Let's take a look. To start, you'll need to create a new GA4 property. Let's open the GA4 property we created earlier. Now we need to select Data Streams and open the Data Stream. Now let's copy the measurement ID. And I'm going to open my demo website. This is a Squarespace site, so let's select Settings, then Advanced, and then External API Keys. We can see our Universal Analytics tracking ID has been added to my Squarespace site. If you want to immediately switch to GA4, then you can simply replace this with your measurement ID. However, I would recommend running GA4 in parallel to Universal Analytics. So let's undo this. And let's add a comma and then paste our measurement ID. This means we are sending data to our old Universal Analytics property and our new GA4 property at the same time. Then when Universal Analytics stops processing data at the start of July, we can come back and remove the old Universal Analytics tracking ID from our website. So that's how you can upgrade to GA4. Remember that when you upgrade, your new GA4 property won't include historical data. So make sure you upgrade as soon as possible. Apart from adding the GA4 tag to your website, there are a number of things you can configure, including conversions, custom events, and more. To learn more about these options, I've included links to my other videos and resources in the description below. Have you upgraded to GA4? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.